It's your boy NWP, and today I got a patch 8.1 preview uh, kind of thing going on here. But before we get started with that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to go down, hit that subscribe button, then the notification bell next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. All right, let's talk about the patch. We got some heroic vectors in the background, but I think there's some big things uh, in this that we need to talk about, and I want you guys to take a look right now for yourself to see what I'm pulling my information from. As you can see, it's been on the screen for a couple seconds, but uh, yeah, there you go. Enjoy that, and uh, let's get it. Let's get into it. You know, like right away. So two raids. That's the big thing. Two raids coming with different bosses for Horde and Alliance. It looks like three bosses uh, on each side will be different. So that means the three will be the same. And after you complete the experience on one side or the other, it sounds like you can fight the other three anyway. So you can, the Horde can fight the Horde bosses, the Alliance can fight the Alliance bosses just to know what it's like. Don't know if that's a good idea, but I understand why they're doing it. You know, I get that. However, at the same time, I like the idea of defending in, uh, the pyramid and I like the idea of the Alliance ransacking the pyramid, it, it just doesn't, I don't think it's going to come together well, personally. Like, it's going to be like Faction Champs 2.0 from Alduar, or not Alduar, excuse me, but from Breath of the Lich King during the Trial of Champions, and it's just not going to be uh, awesome, would be uh, the word I'm looking to use, I guess. It just it isn't going to be whatever, what they think, you know, <clears throat> when they put out this hype kind of you know, speech about what's coming. It's not going to beat that hype when we know it. So, yeah. Uh, the other one is Crucible of Storms, which is going to be something that they've been we were very vague about, but it's going to be about Queen of Shara kind of thing going on there. Uh, we're going to hear more about uh, Sarfang, Tarande, and Valjin. So those stories are going to keep going. Those are important stories to me, at least, because both Tarande and Sarfang are awesome, and Vol'jin is absolutely, a, you know, just hilarious, especially, you know, with the whole, don't let the horde die this day. You know, that was just great. Um, <clears throat> we're getting some dwarf and blood elf heritage armor. Uh, is it worth it? I don't know. <clears throat> New Warfront. Uh, that's pretty cool. The battle for Dark Shore, Night Elves versus Forsaken. New structures and upgrades. Uh, Darkshore will have max level character content and zone updates, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, like we need that kind of stuff coming. Uh, system improvements. So class updates obviously are, you know, eight, the, the point one patch is usually where the first, you know, try to fix classes that aren't working right comes in. Don't know how well that's going to work. Never have. Haven't seen them really do a big early patch that does good job on fixing class balance either. Um, <coughs> as a right traits. They are talking a lot about that, and that's really what we need to talk about here is that, uh, you know, there's a lot of other stuff coming, like, you know, that involves rep being account bound and stuff like that, which you guys, you know, it's check it out yourself. You know, we're, let's let's really talk about the cool stuff here that's changing and or the things that have needed to change. And one of those would definitely be the Azerite system. Uh, I don't think the system is good at all. I don't think anything really is great about the Azerite system. <coughs> I think that... <coughs> I'm sorry about that, but I personally think that uh, uh, looking at um, Legion as an example was a bad idea for adding in something similar but different at the same time. Like it's very similar, but it's very different. I just think that Legion allowed that to be a viable um, alternative to uh, you know having a weapon just because they they chose to use things that that were either already lore based like uh ashbringer or they introduce new lore you know like the uh the war glaives for the demon hunters and that's i think that is add just a little bit of what you need just random pieces of zandalari troll looking ar like armors <sighs> with lackluster equips and procs is pretty much just garbage like it doesn't it doesn't create compelling gameplay it just creates stacking you know stats again in a sense and stacking traits but they're not even the stats that make you feel like you're having more fun or your or like your character is more powerful in a sense see uh haste makes you feel like you cast faster so you see this you can feel it when you press your buttons critical strike makes bigger numbers appear on your screen more often and you know 
just these basic stats like that really, really impact your DPS and not having them on Azerite pieces is probably the first big mistake that they made. Second big mistake is that each and every piece has these lackluster traits, you know, that they're boring. They're very, very boring to say the least. And the final thing about it is that the armor has, uh, you know, it's got a gating behind the um, artifact power. Which is just ridiculous. Like it, it should be more about the gear that you get, like what's on it, than you know, unlocking more through the gear in a sense, like leveling your gear up again. So I think that that's all a big fail. But I'd like to hear what you guys think about it. So leave me a comment on, on how you feel about the Azerite system as a whole. And uh, yeah, have a good one.